Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash and welcome to my channel for another episode of my 1.6 Stardew Valley Let's Play. We are halfway through the summertime. We're working on our bundles. We are continuing to just try to make progress on the farm and it has been really good so far. Today is a very special day because it is the luau and I have no idea what I'm going to bring for the cooking pot at the luau. If you guys don't know, when you go to the luau in Stardew Valley, you get to bring uh, food with you and kind of put it in the community crock pot kind of thing or like cook pot. I, I don't know. It's like a soup. kind <laughs> of. Uh, the spirits are very displeased today. Um, it's also going to be sunny, but yeah. So that's something we definitely want to keep in mind. I want to do all of my chores super quickly before we head on over to the luau. And then again, like I said, I got to figure out what the heck I want to bring to the luau with me because I really just don't know. I think my go-to is usually cauliflower, but I don't even think that's a good good option and i would kind of like to get on the mayor's good side that's another thing to mention you guys the mayor is going or the governor i forget if it's the mayor or the governor maybe it's the governor that sounds more correct the governor is going to be at this luau so you know mayor lewis really wants to make a good impression and honestly so do i being the new farmer in town so i think i'm going to try to bring the best thing that i can now I wanted to update you guys because I did play a day in between episodes. It was one day. It was a day I spent fishing. I was really gunning to try to catch two fish. One, the first fish being the sturgeon, which is found in the mountain lakes. And then the second fish being the sea cucumber, which is found at nighttime during uh, or in the ocean. So I caught both of those. I got really lucky and I spent all day fishing, so there's a lot. Uh, you guys can see my money's gone up because I sold a lot of fish. And I, I can show you guys the sturgeon and the sea cucumber because I kept them. Just uh, to, to be able to show you guys, but also because I don't know if we're going to need them for the future. Actually, I know we need the sturgeon for the community bundle. That's why I wanted it so badly. Okay, the luau has begun on the beach. I need to get all this watered quickly 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 so let's kind of hurry up here and then again i gotta figure out what i'm gonna bring with me okay so i'm thinking crops are probably our best bet so let me look at the wiki and see what my best option would be there's a bug in my room and i need to squash it okay so i do have a sil silver quality radish which should give us the good response if we pop this in there so i think that's what we're gonna take with us let's head on down to the beach and hope that we make a good impression on the governor. This town is deserted. <laughs> I feel so awkward. It feels like I'm walking through Duloc, if you guys know what I mean. Very weird not seeing anybody around. Everyone's beat me to the beach. And here it is, the beautiful luau. I mean, look at this. Food everywhere, people everywhere. There's a shop we can buy from. So there's some decals and things. We've got a totem pole star fruit very interesting you know what's funny is you could buy star fruit and you could probably put the star fruit in the pot if you don't have any if you didn't bring anything or if you forgot anything to bring if you have three thousand gold i mean that is definitely an option so i don't think we're going to be buying anything from the stall but uh, i don't want to forget to put my radish in so i think i'm going to go and do that like first things first Let's pop that in there you added a radish to the soup yes i did all right so then we just go do our usual we go around talk to all the villagers what is marnie doing she is in charge of the pot it looks like if you brought something for the soup climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in oh you already know i did <laughs> free buffet one of the perks of living here enjoy it kid oh i am i just love all the different types of food that are here there's chicken there's some pies and some wine is there more jello somewhere probably i think this is like a little shrimp cocktail and maybe some like fruitcake i'm i'm just looking at everything blasted sand fleas keep landing on the food oh that is that is kind of the worst oh no <laughs> wow you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city see that's the thing about home cooked meals on like a small town cooking's good uh one year sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup ever wondered why sam leads the town in community service hours i guess that makes sense i i didn't know he led in community service hours 
Hmm. Bit of a bad boy. Don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Fair enough, Clint. With all this good food, don't blame ya. I hope the soup is good this year. Me too. I want to have a good reputation. I put fresh vegetables for my garden into the communal soup pot. Nice. Me too, actually. Fresh radishes. Uh, good thing I came with sunscreen. I wonder if Maru could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. Oh, little crushes going around left and right. Okay, okay. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. This does look very interesting. This almost looks like a uh, traditional... I'm pretty sure this is how they would make Kahlua pig in lion culture. Bury it in the ground and cook it in the ground. A slow continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. Got that right. Penny, what's up? We do this festival every year to give the governor, that's right, it's the governor, a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Governor? Who cares? Why should I care about some old guy? I don't know, I guess he, he owns the town. Uh, I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. That makes sense. It's probably so hot in the middle of summer in the valley. How's the farming coming along? It must be a busy season for you. Oh girl, it's so busy. I was stunned at how many crops there is to plant in summertime. I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. I forgot that today was the luau. What a nice surprise though. You think you walk out of your door and there's a festival happening? I don't know. I think it'd be kind of fun. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? What is Haley doing? I want to dance, but I don't want to get all sweaty. I'm bored, says Vincent. Vincent isn't a good dancer, says Jess, but it looks like Emily is a good dancer. She's breaking it down. Uh, she's unresponsive, yeah. She's she's not going to have time for us. Oh, you stepped on my foot, dear. Demetrius, how could you? This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? All right, George and Evelyn, that music, it's too loud. Can't I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? Ah, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. I love Granny Evelyn. She is the sweetest. I just love talking to her. She talks about cookies and flowers, and it's just like nice. <laughs> just nice, casual conversation. It's tiring to socialize with everybody. I'd rather watch the sea. Agreed. It is quite tiring, but also, I'm just... I like the little community vibes. But here he is, you guys. Here is the governor. <laughs> so we do need to talk to the governor. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. Not Ginger Island? Hmm. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. Oh, we already did. Should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Uh, yes, let's get started. We did it, we did it. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Fingers crossed that we can actually have a good soup. If I put in stinky radishes, that is not good. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Definitely put in the highest of ingredients. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? First taste, governor. Of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. How's it gonna go? Please. Oh, he took a second. Oh, he's happy. Ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Yes, we did it. Ah, oh, Louis, I hope you like it as well. Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. Okay, so radish is on our list of good things to put in. Now, who else wants some soup? Everybody, everybody. Ah, the lure was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Definitely agree with that. My character knows what's up. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much it. I do want to go check on my chickens because I didn't have time to do that earlier. But uh, the luau was a success, guys. I don't know why, but I think the luau is probably one of my most, like, nerve-wracking, as weird as that sounds. Like, my most nerve-wracking things in Stardew Valley. I don't know. It's like, there's such a long list of things you can bring and... And anything could be either good or bad, and you kind of don't know unless you check the wiki, which the wiki's so nice uh, to have, but it's also, like, there's a lot of information on there, and it's, you could misread it too and, like, bring the wrong thing. I think I did bring a hot pepper one time, and it was, like, really bad. I, maybe it wasn't a hot pepper. I can't remember what it was, but it was, yeah, it was just not great. Anyways, you guys, I am banking on 
we need a rain day. Yes, looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. You know what we're gonna do today, you guys. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. That's fine because what we're gonna do, oh wow, we've got all kinds of things popping up. I keep getting distracted, sorry. What we're gonna do, you guys, is we are going to go and upgrade my dang watering can so that I can finally be able to water a little bit faster and I think use up less energy when I water my crops. So I'm just gonna do my daily chores around the farm and I'll kind of figure out and think about what I want to do for the rest of the day too. So everything is watered, that is good to go. Uh, we have quite a few hot peppers in here. Uh, I'm just kind of keeping a ton of stuff right now. We need to get more wheat because beer is made with wheat. Uh, so that would be nice. I need to go give a gift to Demetrius today and also wouldn't be a bad idea to go give a gift to Marnie. Another thing is we want to do the watering can. So I'm going to bring some of that. So today is also Friday, which means the traveling cart is in town. So probably should go check that too. There's always so much to do in Stardew Valley. That is the beauty of this game. I'm trying to pick up this egg. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Uh, today is a sunny day. I don't know why my chickens have been like cooped up for so long. I guess I just kind of forgot to open that. I didn't mean to, guys. I didn't mean to. When my chickens can be out, I like to have them out. But first things first, traveling cart. And then we'll kind of make a big loop around. Hopefully Marnie will be at her house. And then I do want to start getting uh, working on tappers. So I need to get the copper rolling, but I need to dedicate quite a bit of time for that. Um, but if we could even get like three tappers started, that would be great over the next like couple days. But first things first, traveling cart. Okay, we have stuffings, peach, bomb, unmilled, rice, rainbow shell, fried egg, stuffing stone path, cranberry, strawberries, bruschetta, uh, walnut chair, rare seeds. Nope, nothing we need. All right, so hoping Marnie is at her shop. Yes, she is. Thankfully, here you go, Marnie. Just a gift for you. Don't don't even question why. <laughs> you can catch me at the saloon most nights. Can I go in her room yet? Oh, I can go in her room and I can find the purple shorts. We found the lucky purple shorts. You found the lucky purple shorts. Better return them to Lewis. I don't know if I want to return them to Lewis just yet. I um actually want to ask you guys, what do you think we should do with the purple shorts? Should we keep them as a memento? of our progress in Stardew Valley? Should we make the gold shorts? Should we put them in the Grange display? Should we give them back to Lewis? Should we be nice? Oh no, I did not mean to do that. You found them, where? Oh, uh, he, there, I have no idea how they could have gotten there. This day's between you and me, got it? <laughs> well, that answered my question, sorry guys. We got a lot of money for it though, so I guess that's good. But dang it, I, I wanted to keep... Nah, I thought you had to be holding them in your hand for him to register them, not just have them in your inventory. So that, learn from my mistakes, guys. That is what this series about is about. Learning from my mistakes. All right, Clint, I am here to upgrade my tools. I would like the watering can upgrade. So thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple days. All right. So tomorrow should be a stormy day, which means we don't have to water my crops. That is all good. And then um, we should be able to get it the next day is what I think. Or we might miss a day. I'm not entirely sure about that. Also, I need to check the bulletin. I'm kind of worried that I'm actually missing someone's birthday. Ooh, I definitely missed Maru's birthday. But tomorrow's Alex's birthday. That really, really sucks because I like Maru a lot. All right, all right. Well, what's on the board here? I'm looking for someone to bring me five coal to aid in my understanding of the local minerals. I guess we'll take it. I don't, um, I don't know. I don't really have plans to go into the mines, but... I mean, to be honest, I am gonna need the iron. Uh, first things first, I wanna talk to Demetrius first. Sorry, Maru, I'll bring you a gift. I'm so sorry. You're giving this to me, this is amazing. If you want Maru to dislike you, give her honey. She hates this stuff with a passion. What, how do you hate honey? I worked at the clinic yesterday. We didn't have a single patient. All right, we're heading back home. I am going to do community center stuff. 
is the plan. So let me grab everything out and then again, just kind of working on tappers as well. So I'm gonna keep this on me. So I got a frozen geode, I believe from, uh, where did I get that from? I got it from fishing, I think. It was in a, one of the treasure test fishing things. So yeah, here's my super cucumber, sea cucumber, super cucumber, and then the sturgeon we need, and then the chub. I don't think I've turned in the chub yet. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I haven't. Okay, cool. So we can turn all of those in. I don't think there's anything else on my list that we have that I need to turn in though. So I think we'll just take these over, and while I'm doing that, just keep, keep cooking the copper. So I think the research bundle is where we need, yeah, the chub and the frozen geode. So that's nice. We get to knock off two here. And then Nautilus shells, winter, purple mushroom. We need to get the cave, which is why I gifted Demetrius today. And then last but not least, we get to finish one of the bundles in here. I believe it's the lake one. Yeah, and there is our sturgeon. Beautiful progress being made today. I love it, I love it. What are we gonna get? Hey, a dress spinner. So as you guys know, I have a Stardew Valley spreadsheet uh, where I kind of keep track of all of my progress as I'm playing through the game. And we have come really far. Oh, also, we, oh, we don't have blueberries yet. I thought we were going to be able to finish a different bundle today, but we don't have any blueberries grown, but we do have a tomato that grew. So I totally forgot to bring that with me, but we can take that. I guess I'll, I'll wait for the blueberries so we can just finish that bundle together, but I have a total of, I think, 77 tasks to complete with the community center. Like, there's 77 total things to turn in, and I've turned in 58. So, I have 25% of the community center to turn in, and then we're done. 25% until we're done. It's crazy, uh, because we are only a month and a half in making tons of progress i am going to though get some tappers work in here so we're going to need a lot of wood for this and i need to clear out an area for this as well so i think i'm gonna do it in like a little line here oh crap we have this big log in the way dang it that's really annoying hmm okay well l let me just kind of chop the trees in this area and see if i can get something worked out Okay, so I think I have a plan for how I want this to be laid out. I am going to start off with pine cone. We'll put a pine cone here and then we'll put another pine cone here and here. Then we'll kind of work our way down with the maple and the oak and here. And this is just like temporary. I think I'm probably going to end up moving this later on. But for the time being, I want to have everything sort of close by in the center of the screen. Um, another thing I want to do is make pathways so that we can start decorating things. Uh, so this will probably be something I work on tomorrow. Although if it's raining tomorrow, then I also need to go do the red snapper. We really need to catch that for the community center. So uh, yeah, these are this is going to be my little tree plot here. I think it'll look nice once it's all finished. We got another shirt. Fringed vest, a fringed brown vest over a sleeveless shirt, dyeable. Uh, so let's see here. I can, I can make tappers, but I mean, we have to wait for these trees to grow first. So maybe what we do is we start getting the wood flooring that's going to go around it done first. So this is going to kind of come. So just kind of like slowly taking my time to... Place this down. Can't put that there, which makes things a bit awkward. Can't put that there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The, w the well is kind of awkwardly in the way. Also, not sure. Actually, I might have to take these out. This is going to look like a weird waffle. <laughs> just, we're just going to accept it. Okay. Um, This log here is making things difficult. And then I have these two trees here that are special trees. They're fruit trees. And you can't have anything around them or they won't grow. I don't know if that means paths or, but I would assume because it, it says, I, I don't know, honestly. Um, but I'm just not going to place anything there just to be safe. But again, we've got like a weird waffle thing going on. Just don't even worry about it. <laughs> we'll get that figured out later. And then I'm just going to kind of keep making copper bars so that when we do want to make tappers, we can. Um, but we don't need to make them now because we, um, those trees have to grow first. 
So really quickly, I'm just going to organize my inventory, put everything away, and then we will move on to tomorrow. Going to put away the fringe vest that we found. It's really exciting that we're getting clothes this playthrough because I've never gotten clothes in my previous playthroughs or like found them randomly. I don't know if that was something that was added in the new 1.6 update, but I think it's really cool. I have seriously never noticed clothes falling on my farm before. But anyways, it's gonna be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Today is a rainy day though, so I am happy. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. That's not what we like to hear, but it's fine, I guess. Do we have any blueberries? Nothing yet. We do have melons though, so I guess that's nice. All right, so Nash, remember to eat healthy or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including you one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use ripe tomatoes. From Mayor Lewis. Interesting. I didn't know we were good enough friends with Lewis. Oh, Demetrius also is sending me fried mushrooms. I wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Demetrius, fried mushrooms. Okay. So that's actually kind of nice because that might tip us off to some of his likes or things. Yeah, things that Lewis likes, I guess. Uh, but let me go ahead and harvest all my crops here. I do need to go get some wheat uh, because, again, we need to start thinking about making beer. So there's that. Let's start putting all this away. Do I want to sell? We want to keep the good quality and then sell off the basic. I, I don't know if that's the best way to go about it, but I'm just going to do it. It's a little extra money in our pocket. How are my little chickies doing today? Hi, guys. Well, it's always good to see you. Seems like they're doing pretty good because they're giving me iridium quality eggs. Can't be mad at that. But you guys, that is red snapper time. We are heading down to the beach and I am going to go try to get me a red snapper for the community center. It is like the last one of the last summer fish that I need. Aside from the Dorado, which I, I might try to spend some time trying to catch that too. Sometime. I, I really don't know when I'm going to do that. <laughs> Hey Shane, what's up? Shane, hello? <laughs> mm, this weather makes me thirsty. Just open your mouth and lift your head up. Ah, it's fresh water. Oh goodness. Gosh, that lightning and thunder was scary. Oh, we found some new stuff. Oh, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pick up this coral. Oh, we found a mystery box and a lost book. Oh, I love finding mystery boxes. They're so fun. All right, it is time for a red snapper. Let's do it. Goodness gracious, that lightning is insane. Are we gonna get this on the first fish? That would be so, so cool. Nope, it's gonna be a tuna. That's fine. I'll just spend time here until we get one. Second fish, let's see what we get. Red snapper, red snapper, red snapper, there it is. Yay, we got it. Beautiful, progress is being made. I'm kind of tempted to go open this mystery box um, at Clint's, because we have plenty of time in the day. We caught that so fast. Seriously, second fish of the day. It's usually not too hard to catch the fish that you need. Uh, so potentially we could maybe go and do some mining today. I like to, I've told you guys this before, but I like to switch off mining, fishing, mining, fishing. But first things first, let's go ahead and see if we can open up this guy. Oh, wait, I needed that for something. We can make the mushroom stump. Oh, that's exciting. We should go do that. We should go do that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Really quickly though, first I'm gonna take the red snapper up. Let's just double check and make sure there's no birthdays. Cause I feel like, oh, it's, it is Alex's birthday. Okay. Jojo Cola for Clint, can do. And then Alex's birthday. There's so much to do. Okay, ocean fish finished and done. Look at that. Our progress is going so well. Beach totem warps, beautiful. Okay, so uh, just updating you guys, we have like the lava eel, scorpion carp, octopus one. That's going to be pretty challenging. Tiger trout is the last one on that one. And walleye is the last one on this one. The fish tank bundle is really close to being done. So it says on Alex's loved gifts, he likes the Jack be nimble, Jack be thick book, which I just think is, is really funny. <laughs> So apparently he really likes field snacks. I'm gonna go give him a field snack. He likes eggs too, um, so we could give him an egg. I don't have any of this stuff with me though, so I gotta drop back by the house really quick. Yeah, so we need 10 moss and hardwood, and we can make this mushroom stump. 
and I definitely have 10 moss from the day that we, <laughs> the day that we got the, the whatchamacallit, it? and I'm gonna put this like, it says it needs to be by trees, so I think I'm gonna put it like right here, and the more trees, the better, and this will literally produce mushrooms for us, so that's really cool, uh, but yeah, the episode where we had the green rain, I got tons of moss that day, and so we have definitely a lot of back stock on the moss oh yeah i also found a sonar bobber i really need to upgrade my fishing rod so we can actually use this but yeah i uh, we might have to drop by willy soon to see if we can use that but anyways field snack we're looking for a field snack do i have one i do have one beautiful so hopefully alex is in his house i would assume so oh it looks like he's going up or no 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 alex Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. Oh, I caught him just as he was going into his room. Hmm. This is not good weather for sports. I just noticed he has the biggest room. Like, their room's all small. Also, what? How to... It, excuse me. I feel like the grandparents should have the bigger room. How do they get in on both sides? I have so many questions about the layout of this house. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's talk to George and Evelyn while we're here. The weekend is no different than at any other time for me. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. Oh no, I could fix that for you. Either that or maybe me and Alex could do it together. That would be a kind of nice thing. Ooh, I found a pine cone. It looks like we still have a little bit of time, so I'm going to run down to the beach and upgrade my fishing rod. All right, let's see what we got here. So, a largemouth bass bait. We definitely don't need that. Uh, so, we have access to the iridium rod. The fiberglass rod is the next rod that we would want, but it only uses bait. So, do we want to upgrade to every single level? Do we not want to waste our money on the fiberglass rod? Because technically, we don't really need to we could just save up the 7500 and go straight to iridium uh, and then we don't have an extra rod lying around so actually i think I'm, I'm gonna do that it might seem a little weird that i'm gonna hang on to the cheapo rod but we've been doing fine with the normal rod and i think it'd just be more beneficial to go and get the iridium rod and not spend the money and not waste the space we can always come back and get it later if we want to so uh, yeah, I guess I guess that was a waste of a trip, but that's okay. I'm going to head into the mines for just a little bit, see if we can get down five more levels, potentially see if we can get some iron. That would be good. And some more things we need for the community center if possible. Into the mines we go. So we are at level 40. Finally hit the frozen zone. This is where we can get iron nodes. A beautiful thing, although my pickaxe, it takes a while to actually mine these rocks. So getting a pickaxe upgrade is probably gonna be something we wanna think about doing really soon. This is usually the point in the game where you start wanting to upgrade your tools quite a bit. And I'm, yeah, I'm at the point where everything I feel like needs to be upgraded. Uh, just cause as you get lower in the mines, things get harder. Uh, so we'll see if we can get down uh, with how much energy I have and stuff like that. But I'm not going to pressure myself too much. Try to get down five levels. It's kind of a if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't kind of thing. got some new ideas to sleep on looks like i just leveled up mining so that feels amazing yay it looks like we actually are gonna be able to get down five levels that is amazing i'm gonna go through and collect all of the iron that i see and then we'll head on down oh there's so many dust sprites on this level they're so cute i never like hurting them but they do give you coal uh which if you're having a hard time finding coal doing the like killing the dust sprites getting down to level 40 is a pretty good way of uh of getting getting the coal you need oh man we're getting mad attacked i'm really feeling like i need a new weapon i'm not the biggest fan of of what i have here very slow so many little spots opened here we go we did it we made it down five levels i am super happy about that i am uh, oh my gosh jeez monsters like crazy uh get me out of here 
I'll take it. It's 9 p.m. I am going to head back to the farm and organize all my inventory and everything like that. I felt like today we made some good progress. We did uh, some Lake Community Center work and that, that makes me happy. I feel like we are working towards all the things that we need to do. We're finishing rather quickly and on track is what I would say. Do still need to get an octopus and a Dorado. Uh, I think those are literally, yeah, those are my last two summer fish that I need to catch. So it'll be interesting to see if I can actually get those. And then stay tuned for an upcoming episode, guys, where we're going to see if this mushroom stump looking thing will get us a mushroom. I mean, that's what it's for. So I would hope it produces a mushroom like maybe every other day or something like that could be really cool. But I gotta go ahead and put all this junk away. Let's put all this in my mining chest. Beautiful. Got a little bit of coal. I needed like one more for that quest, but I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. Then we will go ahead and put these seeds over here. I really need to get wheat. I've been wanting to do that for a couple days now and I keep forgetting. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Stardew Valley. I always enjoy this series. You guys already know. Huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are the best and the sweetest. Thank you so much for the continued support. Don't forget to head down below and subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. We have quite a few months to go. So we are currently at 60,000. If you guys would like to support, that would mean the world to me. But anyways, I hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day. And I will see you in the next Stardew Valley 1.6 episode. Bye, guys.